Uh, good morning, everybody, and um, Ian from Arctic Ian. Hope you're all well. It's Wednesday, and I've got Echo. Let's turn that down. That's better. Uh, Wednesday means it's uh, marathon day, and uh, today's band we're looking at is the Mighty Motorhead. Um, I've been battered by a friend of mine to do uh, Motorhead, so here it is. Okay, <coughs> good start. Frog in the throat. Right, Motorhead. Obviously, British rock band formed in 1975 by Ian Kilminster. And the original lineup of Motorhead were Larry Wallace and drummer Lucas Fox. They sort of uh, at the start of the new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, but the band that will be always remembered for the height of their success is Lemmy, Phil Taylor and Eddie Clark. They've had a few people come through the band and sadly it all come to an end with the sad death of Lemmy in 2015. Uh, so we've had a it's quite a few, if you go through the thing, a lot, a lot Larry Wallace has passed away. He passed away in 2019. Obviously, Phil Taylor did in 2015, and Eddie Clark in 2018, um, and Wurzel, Michael Wurzel burst in 2011. So, there's not many left of the guys that actually played in Motorhead still with us I think Pete Gillies um, Lucas Fox is Mickey D of course he's now with the Scorpions uh, Phil Campbell's still about and Brian Robinson of course um, we're going to be looking at 23 albums although there's only 22 official albums there is one album that I couldn't leave out and uh, I have included it I haven't included the um, cover album they did uh, but that's that's for another day. Um, so let's have a let's go through this huge huge catalogue of Motorhead. Okay, then. So coming in at number twenty three is their thirteenth studio album, released in nineteen ninety six. Overnight sensation. As you know, this is not one of my favourite covers. Um, we've had that in my stinkers one um, and the band of course was Lemmy, Phil Campbell and Mickey D or Mikey D um, first track Civil War uh, this is one of my favourite tracks on this album it's a good hard fast rocker full of energy and Lemmy singing at his best crazy like a fox solid rocker um, with Motorhead, it's not a case I don't like these albums. I like them all, don't get me wrong, but some of them, they were, it's a fun, they were a little bit gener generic. They, di they didn't do go wow. It doesn't mean they weren't good, but they didn't outstand. But this is one of them. Um, I don't believe a word. A little bit different, but Lemmy's ripping back a bass. Sounds awesome on this. Eat the Gun. Fast, furious Motorhead. And great powerful drums. Mikey D is a great drummer. Uh, and Phil Campbell's a great guitarist. I mean, this lineup of Motet were fantastic. Um, then we have the Overnight Sensation, pretty good track. Again, that Rick and Backer bass dominates this track. Love Can't Buy You Money, solid enough track. Uh, it's, it's a typical Motet song broken uh, I'm not keen on that one it's not the best I don't skip it but it's not the best them not me a typical far short sharp track for Motorhead plenty of um, energy great guitar licks and solos what you need you know, get a track from Motorhead Murder Show it's a solid track nothing special though uh, Shake the World Got some great guitar riffs from Phil, and 
listen to your heart. Yeah, it's a little bit lame for Motorhead, this is. Well, it's not that heavy at all, but it's quite a pleasant track. Okay, yeah, just because I've ranked this at the bottom doesn't mean it's a bad album. But there are better albums. So I give this an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 22 then. It's the 12th album, released 27th of March 1995. Sacrifice. This is one of the albums that's got the four piece. So in this we've got Lemmy, Phil Campbell, Wurzel and Mikey D. First track, party track, Sacrifice. Awesome, ferocious drumming from Mikey. Absolutely it knocks it out of the park. Great drum on that. And, the, and this, and when they had that two guitar sound in Motel, it did sound good. Um, Sex and Death, little solid track, but nothing special. Uh, Over Your Shoulder, quite good track. Driving Rickenbacker bass, I do like the Rickenbacker bass. I mean, you think the people, most famous people are playing a Rickenbacker. Let me, Geddy Lee, Chris Squire. In all different genres that make it sound great. War for War. I love how this fades in. It's different. You get you normally you get tracks fading out. Now this one fades in. It's a good track. Or to fade to black. I've never been keen on this one. Uh, it just doesn't do nothing for me. Dog Dog Face Boy. All I'll say, this is the best track on the album. Uh, it goes back to them good old days. It's just, um, as Lemmy would put it, when he used to um, go on stage, we're Motorhead and we play rock and roll. That's all that is. Motor motorhead, motorized, motor, Motorhead, rock and roll. Great track. All Gone to Hell. Solid track, nothing wrong with it. It's not the best track, but it's it's still got energy. That's what I like about Motorhead. It's full of energy. Uh, Make them blind. This is a very different track for them. Some driving riffs from uh, Phil Campbell on this one. Very good track. Don't waste your time. This is just rock and roll. A little bit heavy. That's all it is, and it's a great track. Nothing wrong with that one. Um, in another time, gets a little bit thrashy in part places. More thrash metal than heavy metal, rock and roll. Good track now. Out of the Sun, great solo from Phil Campbell. Terrific song. Another solid al album. Uh, I've got no problem with it, but they did just have other better albums. And I'll give this an RTO ranking of 7.1. Okay, coming in at number 21 is the 11th album. Released in 1993. 29th of November. I don't like the title of this. I don't know why they had to do it, but it's Motet and it's Bastards. Don't swear on this show much, but we have to now and again. Okay, the band was Lemmy, uh, Phil Campbell, Wurzel, Mikey D, and I love this, Howard Benson on Richie Keyboards. What are Richie Keyboards? I haven't got a clue. Uh, first track, On Your Feet or On Your Knees. Great little rocker to kick off the album. Solid track, Burner. Um, it's one of them fast and furious motorhead tracks, driving Rickenbacker bass, great drumming from Mickey, uh, double bass drum, thumping away, great track. Uh, Death or Glory, uh, great, um, great track. It, it sounds so good. Uh, it, remi it just reminds me of the classic lineup. Very, very good track. I Am The Sword, Uh, I'd, 
musically it's brilliant but I just it's hard enough to understand what Lemmy's singing at most of the times so at this one you just can't understand him it doesn't make it a bad track though um, then we get one of my favourite tracks uh, Born to Raise Hell this is a mod article one of the modern classic songs from Motorhead absolute belter of a track love it to bits let me de don't let daddy kiss me I don't know about this one. I can understand what it's about, uh, but I don't want to hear this on a heavy metal album. Um, Bad Woman, right little rocker this is. It's got some piano in it. If you listen to it very carefully, there's piano. Good track though. Liar, great uh, rocker this is. Got some really good um, riffs in this nice guitar solo again really good lost in the ozone this is a bit different from over to head it's got acoustic guitar in it as as well as um the um heavy stuff pretty good pretty good track actually um on your man that's solid nothing nothing special but it's solid we we bring the shape great opening riff great little uh, track um, and then we end up with Devils pretty solid track again um, solid album there's a couple of tracks on here that I don't particularly like but it is a good album uh, enjoy listening to it so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7.5 coming in number 20 19th studio album released in 2008, Motorizer. This is the lineup of Lemmy, Phil Campbell, and Mikey D, and a guest appearance of a guy called Wesley Mensha, Sly Guitar, on one of the tracks, Thousand Names of God. First track, Run Around Man. Oh, that Rick and back at the bass again distortion on it heavy driving the song along great vocal from Lemmy terrific song teach you how to sing the blues very good track solid where the eagle screams yeah, it's all right bit mediocre for me I'm not I don't dislike it I don't like it it's okay rock out Fast, furious, two minutes, eight minutes of thundering motorhead. One short life. I love this track from that opening uh, Rickenbacker bass. It's a bit slower, a little bit bluesy, this is, and it's a terrific song. Buried Alive, standard motorhead, fantastic. Uh, English Rose, solid enough track. Nothing to write home about, though. Back on the Chain. I'm not keen on these sort of tracks by Motorhead. They just seem to. They, they went through a phase where they just churned out for the sake of it, and this is one of them tracks. As much as I love Motorhead, they did go through a very. whether the, the tracks were just generic, and that is one of them. Heroes, great track. Uh, typical Motorhead. This. Time is right, again, solid motorhead, head, head banging stuff. The last track in the, thou the Thousand Names of God. I do love the slide guitar on this, this is terrific. It adds a little bit different texture to the song, really good track. As I said, I, dis I don't like dislike some of these at all, but they did sound very generic during that early, you know, halfway belt through their career it, they just and I, you got to take your hats off they still went out there hard rocking touring band as well but it's not a bad album it's got some good tracks on it and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7.8 ok then coming in at numbers 19 uh, 18th studio album from 2006 Kiss of Death Again, it's got Lemmy, Phil Campbell, and Mikey D. 
special guests on this were C.C. DeVille from Poison on a track called God Was Never On Your Side Mike Inns did some additional bass guitar on Under The Gun and we got Zoltan Zoli Tilas who did a bash of backing vocals on God Was Never On Your Side uh, first track Sucker pretty solid start to the album again nice riffs on that one night stand I love this this is a great track old style motorhead rock and roll devil I know it's okay it's part of that generic sound that they had during the 2000s early 2000s late 90s trigger not a bad track under the gun fast bluesy song Motorhead were good at this and that's one of my favourite songs on the album God was never uh, on your side Motorhead were trying to, trying to do um, commercial music <laughs> no <laughs> you don't need to <laughs> yeah the less we say about that track the better living in the past it's got some great riffs Lemmy singing great on this and you can hear that thumping ripping back of bass that's all you need to know about Motorhead great singing from Lemmy and a great bass line uh, Christine it's okay highlight of this song though is Phil Campbell's solo shows what a good guitar player he is actually um, Sword of the Glory solid track be my baby. Oh, this has got a really catchy riff. Let me let me sounds awesome on this. Um, Kingdom of the Worm. Not a particularly favourite of mine. Uh, you can't like them all though, can you? Um, going down. Good little rocker. Great stuff. Again, I find this a little bit a generic, but again, it doesn't make it a bad album. I do play. I mean, I do play these albums quite a lot. You know, they're one of my favourite bands, so I'm not going to uh, critique them too much. But they, but this is just a little bit better than the uh, the um, earlier ones. I will give it an RTO ranking of eight out of ten. Okay, then coming in at number eighteen is the fifteenth album from the two thousand. We are Motorhead. Uh, Lemmy, Phil Campbell and Mickey D again um, first track See Me Burning this is a belter everyone is on fire the drums are just awesome Phil Campbell soloing like well it sounds like Eddie Clark and Lemmy again absolutely terrific that bass line is electrifying slow dance oh what a dirty riff this has got Phil Campbell top man great track stay out of jail another great track from uh, Motorhead uh, solid as you like then they do a cover of the Sex Pistols God Save the Queen it's alright that's all I'll say about it out to lunch not a bad song standard motorhead when you think motorhead you get it driving riff great drumming and great guitar solo and riffs that's all you need to know wake the dead rick and back of bass Just flying and solid absolutely great right this track is mellow and it doesn't do anything for me and I don't like the song title anyway it's one of them times where I have to say the F word and uh, the track's called One More Fucking Time I don't know why they have to call it that I really don't but it's motor red in it yeah not my favourite track anyway it's not because of the title I just don't don't like it but Lemmy just can't is not a singer for singing this soft gentle stuff uh, stage right crash and burn 
good old fashioned motet this is uh, after the last track you needed something a bit more um, upbeat than this what you got wearing your heart on your sleeve more classic motorhead then we get we are motorhead uh, this is definitely in the vein of the song motorhead I call this the son of motorhead great track solid album again um, to cut the tracks I'm not keen on this one but um, I'd say 90% of this album is solid uh, enjoy listening to this one even though it's only at number uh, what is it number 18 it's still a very very good album I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.3 okay then coming in at number 17 12th album from 2010 the world is yours uh, we've got Lemmy Phil Campbell Mickey D and a guest appearance a guy called Charlie Paulson on scratch guitar what's the scratch guitar I don't know born to lose uh, opens up with some great drumming from Mikey terrific great track I know how to die nice rock and roll track here uh, hear that Rickenbauer belting away superb track get back in line oh very this is um, going back to this older motorhead I'd say going back to those first few albums good good solid track devils in my head another solid track rock and roll track riffing brilliant rock and roll music terrific track favorite on the um, album it's got all them elements to expect from a track by a motorhead waiting for the snake got some great driving riffs in this some great drums solid track brotherhood of man brilliant track it's just classic sounding motorhead outlaw fast and furious what do you expect from motorhead i know what you need solid as that and then we get bye bye bitch bye bye reminds me of snaggletooth um another great album one of the better ones from this period they were starting to have a little bit more energy and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.4 uh, coming in at number 16 14th album Snake Bite Love from 1998 just the three of them Lemmy, Phil and Mikey love the sale love this song driving Rick and Backer again great vocal from Lemmy on this Dogs of War love Phil Campbell's ripping riffs on this superb ripping um, Snake Bite Love this riff reminds me of the song they did with Girl School Please Don't Touch great track Assassin I don't mind this but it's, it's, it's I don't know it's, it's, it's one of them tracks that I sort of sit on the fence with take the blame oh Mikey's on fire on this the double bass drum is so heavy great great track dead and gone I can't get on with these slow motorhead songs I just don't associate motorhead with slow songs uh, night side more driving riffs from Mr Campbell terrific track don't let me don't lie to me again just as Lemmy says we are motorhead and we play rock and roll joy of labor it's not quite a slow track because there's little heavy, heavy elements in it don't mind this one though uh, lots of wah wah in this and I do love wah wah uh, really good track desperate for you another great rock and roll track better off dead 
more fast and furious drumming from Mikey and Lemmy that bass again terrific very very solid album uh, very good enjoyable to listen to so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.5 coming in at number 15 it's the 17th album I used to pound them out during this period at least one a year uh, 2004 Inferno Lemmy on this and he plays acoustic guitar on this and harmonica Phil Campbell on guitars uh, Mickey D Mikey D he plays rhythm guitar on one of the tracks as well guest musicians on this one Stevie Vai ex David Lee Roth White Snake and Curtis Matthewson plays strings strings first track Terminal Show awesome Stevie Vai great guitarist although he didn't as I said I think I don't know if you mentioned this before Stevie Vai up to me didn't suit um, my snake on here absolutely a belter Killers another good track solid rock and roll in the name of tragedy more sterling work from Mikey D on them drums he's up there with Phil Taylor great drummer suicide this is a so called slow rocker in Roadhead's terms but it's very very good track got a great bass line of course and it's a terrific track life's a bitch quite bluesy I would say this is a bit heavy, this is easy top style but a little bit heavier. Good, good track. Down on me. Stevie Vai does the guitar solo on this and it's absolutely mind blowing. Absolute belter of a track. In the Black. Another solid track. Great sound. Great drums. Lots of licks from Phil. Great fight. I love these Fast and Furious songs that Motorhead do all through their career absolutely stonking 100 miles an hour rock you just can't beat it uh, In the Year of the Wolf killer riffs on this one of the best tracks on the album now Kings of the Kingdom when I was listening to this the other day I thought I think they've been hanging around with one of their mate Saxon far too long or the, the Saxon sound is rubbing off because this sounds very Saxon to me because this has got the strings in it it's a great track totally sort of different stuff from Motorhead but it's very very good and I love it smiling like a killer solid then we get Whorehouse Blues now this is probably the only acoustic -y song for Motorhead that I like You've got um, Mikey D playing guitar as well. There's no no drums in this, but give him a guitar and he's fantastic. Uh, this is one of uh, the better later albums from Motorhead, and I do like it. This is very varied. I love Keys to the Kingdom. So I give this a uh, RTO ranking of 8.6. Okay, coming in at number 14 is the 10th album, released in 1992, March or Die. This album was very hard to get out. Um, it features quite a few um, significant guests on this one. We've got Ozzy. Slash, Tommy Aldridge. Now Tommy Aldridge stepped in as um, Phil Taylor got fired early on in the recording process. Um, and hats off to Tommy Aldridge. He's a terrific drummer. I think he's drummed with so many people. 
he's still beating the skins with white snake now and he is a fantastic drummer i mean the last time i saw him you know he's for someone who's in his senior years he still hits them drums as good as he did in the, in the early 80s terrific drummer so he stepped in and i think there's only one track on here that phil actually drums on yeah i ain't no no nice guy uh, this has also got Lemmy, Phil Campbell, Wurzel, and Pete Solly on keyboards. That's a bit different. Mickey, Mikey D makes his first appearance with Motet on this album on Hellraiser. And of course, Ozzy Osbourne. And Jamie Jerome, whoever he is, plays guitar. First track, Stan. Great little rocker this is. Terrific top. Then we get a cover song, Cat Scratch Fever from Ted Nugent. It's not a bad cover of a, this classic from Ted. Bad Religion. Oh, I love the riff in this. Great track. Great rock and roll track. Jack the Ripper, solid. And what a performance from Tommy Aldridge on this. Oof. Absolutely stonking. Um, I ain't no nice guy. This features Ozzy Osbourne and Slash. The duo between Ozzy Osbourne and Lemmy and this is superb. Um, I just think, you know, this is two friends having a bit of fun and it's a terrific track. El Razor, great track, uh, written by Ozzy, Osborne, Zach Wilde, his guitarist, and Lemmy. Great guitar work on this, fantastic. Silent Choir, solid rock track. Too Good To Be True, great guitar. I love the interplay between Wurzel and Phil Campbell on that track, fantastic. You Better Run, this has got Slash on it. Bluesy song, great belting, Rickenbacker bass, terrific. I mean, Name in Vain, great rock track. Tommy Aldridge kills it on this, absolutely all over it on the drums, fantastic track. March or Die, bit different from Motet, but I like it. I think this is a very good album, considering they sacked their drummer in the middle of it. I mean, for Tommy to come in and learn these tracks, fantastic. Um, I just thought, I just thought, it's a terrific album. A lot of people don't like this one. I love it. And I like Tommy Aldridge anyway, and it's, it's got some solid guests on it all round good fun album so I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.7 ok then coming in at number 13 is the 22nd and final album of this legendary band released on August in August 2015 just before one of the last things we get from the band and what a way to go out great album uh, got some guests on here Jimmy Mayweather and Nick Agee backing vocals on Shoot Out The Lights Brian May plays on this as well get your old mate in come and have a go fantastic Victory or Die oh, solid track solid track Lemmy sounds great on this album. And considering he wasn't a well man, he put his heart and soul into this. And it's a great, got some great tracks. Thunder and Lightning. This is classic Motorhead. Going back to them great days of Motorhead. Driving drums, thundering bright, the, the bass, great guitars. Firestorm Hotel. This is what I call great British heavy metal it's just a great track shoot out all your lights 
Mickey D. Terrific. Sounding perfect. Electricity. Another solid track. Evil Eye. I just love that Rick and Backer Bart bass. Lemmy is having such a whale of a time on this album. Uh, his voice is just incredible. Teach him how to bleed. My favourite track. I just love that ripping back of bass on this. Fast, furious. The, the, the energy in this album, you can feel it. I've missed out the devil. That comes in the fifth track. Great track. Great guitar solo from Brian on this. Considering how poorly Levy was, great track. Till the end, this song, I don't know, is this him saying goodbye? I don't know. The song, if you listen to these lyrics, there's a lot of heart and soul gone into these. It's a slowy one, but I just love it. Um, I mean, Lemmy was a legend, and if that was his way of saying goodbye to the fans, what a way. Tell me who to kill. More of them great driving riffs, but when you get a, that heavy ripping back of bass at the beginning, you know you're in for an absolute belter of a track. Choking on your screams, another solid track uh, from such a great album. When the sky comes looking for you, solid heavy metal rock, rock and roll and the, um, the last track on the album was a cover of The Stones Sympathy for the Devil good cover actually so what a way to bow out after 22 studio albums some great gig performances and some of the tracks on this do go back to them great days, memorable tracks. And he was a great loss to rock and roll. And I'll give it an RTO ranking. 8.8. .8. Okay then, coming in at number 12. is the 21st album. 2013. Aftershock. We've got Lemmy, Phil and Mikey. And the first track is Heartbreaker. Solid opening to the album. Some solid riffs. Terrific drumming. And of course, Lemmy's vocals. Fantastic. Coupe de Grace. Rick and Bauer bass. Dominant in this track. Great motorhead track. Lost Woman Blues. Very good track. Nice bluesy sound, great performance from Phil Campbell on this. Great track. At end of time, again with them fast and furious tracks from Motorhead. Do you believe? Great solo from this. Phil Campbell on fire. Death Machine. Again, Phil Campbell is absolutely on fire. This track really goes back to the heyday of Motorhead. Dust and Glass. This is a really good track. Again, Phil Campbell's solos are some of the best he's ever done on a Motorhead album. Going to Mexico. I love this. This is something that would have been, probably could have turned up on the Bomber album. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Silence When You Speak To Me. Oh, great hook, great bass line, terrific song. Crying Shame, more of those driving drifts, with little bit riffs from Phil, terrific. Queen of the Damned, all you hear on this is that ripping back of bass, and I love it. Knife, solid track, driving riffs, Phil Campbell on fire. Keep your powder dry. <laughs> Yeah, we know what that's all about. Rock and roll. That's all it is. 
And the Parallel is just an awesome, fast, heavy track. And I'll just put it fast, heavy, fast and heavy, furious equals motorhead. I would think the, these last two albums that Motorhead put out are probably their, of their later years, are the best one, were some of the best ones they put out. Uh, another stonking album, and I give it an RTO ranking of 8.9. Okay then, coming in at number 11, is the self-titled debut album from 1977, Motorhead. This of course features Lemmy, Fast, Eddie Clark and Phil, Filthy Animal Taylor. First track, Motorhead. You don't, you, there's not much you'd have to, have to describe this. This is just one of the ultimate classic Motorhead songs. One of the most iconic heavy metal songs, heavy rock, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the studio version and it's not as heavy but it's still a great track. Uh, second track Vibrator written by Larry Wallace one of the original guys from it. Very punky, very punky track. Then we get Lost Johnny. Uh, very mellow, it's not high heavy but the Rick and Backer bass is really uh, chunking along here and some great guitar work from Eddie Clark. Then we get the brilliant Iron Horse, uh, solid track, White Line Fever, <laughs> great guitar solo from Eddie Clark in this, fantastic, and Phil Taylor's drumming on that's pretty cool, Keep Us On The Road, nice little rocker, I mean a rocker, it is just rock and roll. The Watcher, more driving Rick and Backer bass. Got a good sound on this. Uh, then we get a cover. Uh, train kept a rolling. Not a bad cover. Nearly as good as Aerosmith's, but it's a long way from Tiny Bradshaw's original from 1951. Not a bad album, debut album. It's not heavy, but it's still a good album. And I give it a RTO ranking of nine out of 10. So we've finally reached the top 10. And these to me are quintess the quintessential um, albums you need in your motorhead collection. If, you, if you're not if you're not a fan as much as I am, and you've not got all the albums, these are the ten albums I think you should have. So coming in at number ten is the sixteenth album from two thousand and two, Hammered. Features Lemmy, Phil Campbell, Mickey D, Dizzy Reed on piano, and a special guest star, Triple H, and the WWE on Serial Killer. Walk a Crooked Mile. I love this track. It's got such a great riff. Solid drums from Mikey. Great stuff. Down the line, solid rock and roll. Love the, uh, the kick on this. Absolutely brilliant Brave New World Brave New World another belter track for Motorhead it's got some great guitar effects on here Phil Campbell having a little paddle about with stuff and he found some nice little sounds Mickey D again drums are fantastic Voices of the War this has got some dirty riffs in this solid track Mine All Mine Typical um, rock and roll from Motorhead. Good stuff. Shut your mouth. Oh, some great riffs. Very underrated guitar player, I think, Phil Campbell. And he's got some great playing on this. Lemmy's vocals on top of the world. Kill the world. I love this short, sharp rock tracks. And this is one of them examples. Doctor Love. This is another of those classic tracks. Uh, they've opened it up with a few gigs. I just love that driving riff. Vocals are great. No, no remorse. Great track. Lemmy's vocal is so eerie on this and dark makes it a great track. Red Raw. 
this is speed metal to me it puts some of these young speed metal bands to shame because these chaps these these are the ones that really started that fast metal as far as I'm concerned and considering when this came out and at the time there was all the death metal and all that this just blows them away serial killer this was written more for this was sort of uh, done for Triple H as he used to walk in on on the wrestling it's weird it's it's not my favourite track but it's you know to get a motorhead to do something for Triple H that's quite good but I don't like it um, but it is a very good album solid got some great tracks on it and I give an RTO ranking of 9.1 okay coming in at number 9 is the 8th album from 1987 rock and roll uh, this sees Phil Taylor back on the drums uh, so you've got Lemmy Wurzel Phil Campbell Phil Taylor and a f some uh, Pete Gill drums on this and a very very special guest one of the Pythons Mr Michael Palin so pretty good okay first track rock and roll classic rock and roll motorhead style fantastic then we get the classic Eat the Rich classic motorhead song now great drumming from Pete Gill on this great drummer Pete Gill is uh, Black Heart I love this track now a lot of people don't like this album I love it and this is one of the tracks I love uh, great drumming Stone Deaf in the USA proper motorhead again love this um, track Phil Taylor's drumming on this and it's fantastic and then towards the end of that you get this little spoken bit by a certain Michael Palin it is so funny he's basically playing a vicar and he's blessing the band And now if you've seen The Meaning of Life the bit when he plays the vicar in that in that public school and going oh lord you're so good and all that this is so funny one minute a pure comic genius from a comic genius love it it's just called the blessing it's it's worth paying your money just for that it's hilarious then we go into the wolf uh another drum from phil taylor great stuff thumping bass brilliant vocal from Lemmy, Traitor, Solid, Dogs, Pumping Rick and Backer Bass, Solid, Solid, uh, the two guitars work well in this track, great stuff, All For You, uh, it's just basic rock and roll, well, there's nothing wrong with that at all, I love rock and roll, Boogeyman, Mr. Kilminster, your bass is fantastic on this. Then you get the guitars coming through and you're foot tapping straight away. Okay, a lot of critics really didn't like this album. They say it's quite a weak album. But personally, I don't think it is. I love this album. Uh, got two great drummers drumming off, Pete Gill and Phil Taylor. What more can you say? Uh, and I'll give an RTO ranking of 9.2. Okay, coming in at number 8. Now, this album was intended to be their first album, but left unreleased at the time. We're talking about On Parole, of course. It was completed in 1976. It was not released until 
1979 after the commercial success of Bomber and Overkill. But it was released without the band's permission. So they distanced themselves from this album. But it was quite a popular album. Uh, but eventually they s said, okay, we will uh, say, yeah, we, we will we accept it. And they've moved off since then. So this album features Lemmy, Barry Wallace, Phil Taylor and Lucas Fox on some of the some of the tracks. So the tracks were Motorhead. Now this version of Motorhead is far better than actually on the debut album. Really, really good track. Much better. Then we get On Parole, written by Larry Wallace. I love the rawness of this. It is absolutely brilliant. Great guitar work. And then we get Vibrator again. And this is a better version than was actually on the debut album. Iron Horse, Born to Lose. It's a different version of this. This is slowed down. More bluesy, but still a really good version. City Kicks. A uh, bit punky this is. But very good. But love the rawness of it. The Watcher. I think this is a better version than the one on Motorhead. It's got more feel, more atmosphere. Leaving here. I don't know if this was left over from punk, but it feels more punk than metal, but really good. Lost Johnny. Again, much better version. I don't know why. Fools. This is a great song, but should be on a ZZ Top album as well. Absolutely a good track. I am so glad that those have finally recognised this album because it is a far, far better album than the de the official debut album. Hence why I've re the recordings are better. I don't know why. Um, and I refer this album to the debut album. Hence I've ranked it higher. So I give it an RTO ranking of 9.3. Okay then, coming in at number seven. Seventh album, released in 1986. Orgasmatron. Cracking album. This is the first to feature the two guitarists of Phil Campbell and Michael Wurzel. It's the only album that featured the, the whole tracks of Pete Gill. And he recorded them some of the tracks from Known Remorse, Killed by Death, though that's not on any albums, I'm going to give it a quick mention here, great track, uh, some great tracks on here, Death Forever, classic song from Motorhead now, got some great riffs in this terrific song, Nothing Up My Sleeve, again any track that opens up with that famous Rick and back at bass, you know you're in for a ride on this track, and you are, great track. Ain't My Crime. This is just one of my favourite Motorhead tracks. I just love the rawness, I love the heaviness. Great. Claw. Oh, this is great drumming from Pete Gill. Uh, you forget that it, you forget sometimes that you're listening to Phil Taylor and not Pete Gill. Terrific track. Me Machine. Again, one of them fast and furious tracks of Motorhead. Fantastic. Built for speed. I love this. The interplay again between Wurzel and Phil Campbell on this is amazing. Great stuff. Riding with the driver. More thumping drums from Pete Gill. Them guitars are great. Dr. Rock. Classic. Love that track. And then we get the title track. Orgasmatron, one of my favourite tracks. I remember seeing this on TV. I think it was The Tube, which was a brilliant programme, live, and, they, and Motet did, did, did this, and it blew me away. 
Okay, this is one of my favourite albums by Motorhead. Uh, it's just got some terrific songs, not one bad track on it, solid, and it's only at number seven in my ranking. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.4. Okay then, coming in at number six. This is my favourite album of the latest period of um, the nights of the 90s and 2000s sort of era of Motorhead. This is 1916. It was the last album that would play, Phil Taylor would play the whole album. So you've got Lemmy, Phil Campbell, Wurzel, Phil Taylor and James Hoskins on cello. Yes, on cello. First track, the one, the one to sing the blues. Uh, great track, awesome vocal from Lemmy on this. Uh, I'm so bad, baby, I don't care. The double guitar work on this is terrific. Rich sound, terrific track. No voices in the sky. Just love those driving riffs and the drums in this is awesome. Phil Taylor, absolutely belting it out on this one. Uh, going to Brazil, rock and roll style motorhead. Great rock and roll track. Nightmare, the dream time. There's a little bit of keyboards in here, but it actually adds to the track. Great atmosphere. Love me forever. It's okay, it's, it's the weakest track, but it's got a stunning guitar solo on it. Angel City, uh, more basic rock and roll, put through the uh, Motet machine, terrific, terrific. Make My Day, Belter, L Lemmy's vocals on this are superb. Let me get Ramones, short rock and roll tracks, only one, one, uh, Minute 26, just short, sharp rock and roll. Shut You Down, great track, classic sound, great, great guitar solo, booming drums. Let me get to the title track, 1916. Probably one of the mo most moving pieces of music that Lemmy ever wrote. All about, obviously, the First World War. A heartwarming, very uh, moving. Gr uh, the cello in this is fantastic. Um, I love this track. Um, I love this album. Got one of my favourite tracks, 1916. I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.5. Okay, now now we're moving into the creme de la creme. Um, coming in at number five, fifth album, released in 1982, and it would be the last of the classic lineup of Fast Eddie Clark, Lemmy, and Phil Taylor. Opens up with the brilliant Iron Fist. Great track. Um, I remember buying this on 7 inch single. Red vinyl as well. Love this track. One of my favourite Iron, Iron Maid. <laughs> Motorhead tracks. Um, then we get Heart of Stone. Motorhead at the best. Thundering drums from Phil Taylor. Awesome guitar work from Eddie Clark. Great stuff. I am the Doctor. Love Eddie Clark's guitar solo in this. Absolutely brilliant. Great track. Go to Hell. One of my favourites on the on the album. Lemmy's bass is banging away. His vocals are unbelievable. Let me get Loser. Eddie Clark's riffs in this are terrific. Great, great drumming from Phil. Sex Out and Outrage, solid track. 
great rock and roll from Motorhead. America, one, another one of my favourite tracks. I love the drumming in this. Terrific. Shut It Down, great heavy heavy rock track. Speed Trick, Speed Freak, sorry. More driving Rick and Barra bass from there only means one thing, a great Motorhead track. The bass line drives this song and Eddie just works his way with that whining guitar fan. Fantastic. Don't let me gr don't let them grind you down. This is a not my favourite. Not my favourite track. Um Don't Need Religion. Rack Rickenbacker is fantastic. It's got little elements of scat, cat scratch fever in this, and the bass line just carries this song superbly. Great track. Bang to right. Stunning guitar solo from Fast Eddie Clark. One of his signatures. Uh, and what a way to sell it. Sign his tender, tenderness off. Tender, basically, he's well, really tongue tied on this. Basically, what a way to sign off <laughs> your career with Motorhead. Great, great track. Great album. It's the weakest of the four they did together, but it's still a cracking album, and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9.6. Let's get your teeth in order. Need a bit of a drink, I think. Mmm. That's better. It's the only thing when you do 20 odd albums, your mouth dries up. Okay, coming in at number four then. Sixth studio album. Released in 1983, Another Perfect Day. Only album to feature Brian Robinson, X Thin Lizzy. So you've got Lemmy, Brian Robinson, and Animal Taylor. Uh, first track, love this. Back on the Funny Farm. Brian Robinson made this track. His guitar work is superb. Great, great track. Then we get a classic, Shine. This has got Brian Robinson's guitar work is absolutely brilliant. Now, to step into Fast Eddie Clark's shoes was a big task. You needed a big guitarist. The man, Brian Robinson, fantastic love this track dancing on your grave another classic track uh, such a great rocker rocket Brian Robinson again his input on this album was terrific another stonking rocking track from Lizzie at ex Lizzie Axman Uff. great driving riffs one track mind Again, you, I can't just... Brian Robinson made such a difference to this band on this album. Gave them some extra energy and produced a great album. The title track, Another Perfect Day. This is the, the best solo from Brian Robinson. It's, it's pure classic. I love it. Fantastic track. Marching off to work. Lemmy and Brian Robinson. What a pairing. Phil Taylor's on fire. They sound so fresh. Great track. I Got Mine. My second favourite track on the album. Fantastic. Tales of Glory. Hard Rocker. Lemmy's voice. Ooh. Dirty and mean. Die You Bastard. Again, it starts off with that dirty bass line from um, Lemmy. Drums come in, hammering away. Then you get a magnificent Brian Robinson on a solo. This is a superb album. It's just a shame that Brian Robinson didn't hang around because I think they would have brought out even more stonking albums if Brian had stayed about this. Apart from uh, the classic lineup, this one off lineup was my favourite, second favourite lineup of, uh, of Motorhead. 
and I give this an RTO ranking of 9.7. Okay, top three. Oh, this was hard. But this is the way we went. Maybe a controversial with some people, but there are reasons why. Um, coming in at number three then, it's the third studio album released in 1979 on the 27th of October and it's Bomber. Got the classic lineup, Lemmy, Eddie and Phil. First track, Dead Man, Tell No Tales, classic motorhead. Superb track. Driving riffs, driving drums. Lawman, a classic Rickenbauer bass from Lemmy. Great riffs, brilliant. Sweet Revenge, bit of a slow rocker. Great bass line again. Lemmy sounds on top form. Um, Sharpshooter, more driving riffs from Eddie, from Fast Eddie Clark. Lemmy just killing it with that bass. Great solo for Medi Clark as well, fantastic. Poison, nice little rocker here. Me heavy, me heavy rock, rock and roll from Motorhead, great stuff. Stone Dead Forever, one of my favourite tracks by Motorhead, classic. Got that classic bass line, you've got the great guitar, swirl from Eddie, Phil's drumming on this. Brilliant. All the aces. More of the same, please. Keep it coming. Great riffs. Great drumming. Step down. Great bluesy number. Great guitar solo from Eddie Clark. Probably one of his best. Love it. Talking Head. Some great motorhead riffs. It's just thumping riffs, bass line. And then we get Bomber, of course. There's not much you can say about this track, except it's absolutely stonking. I do love the bass in this. I love the little bit where the, you've got the, the guitar solo, and then not Lemmy wants to get joining in, and the bass line and doing that solo is fantastic. This is a classic album. It's got some staple classic songs, absolutely belter of an album, and I give it an RTO ranking of 9.8. Okay then, coming in at number two, this is the controversial, again from 1979, this one was March of 79, and it's Overkill, the brilliant Overkill. First track of course is that classic opening riff of Overkill, absolutely corker, right out the top draw, brilliant track. Then we get that little gem of a song called Stay Clean, that little drum roll at the beginning and it fires off into a great track, Lemmy's vocal in this is superb, love this track to bits. I Won't Pay Your Price, love the start of this when he goes Ooh, I'm so drunk <laughs> and then he just rock, comes into a great little rock number not bad for someone that says he's drunk I'll be your sister love the start to this again that very very heavy Rickenbacker Rick and Backer bass Phil Taylor hammering them drums driving the song along and fast Eddie Clark comes in with some great guitar work, an absolute classic. And then we keep going with these classics, Capricorn, classic track, stable in their live shows at the time. I love the live version of this, it's got more heaviness, it's a better track live, but it's still a great track. No class, again, just heavy rock and roll, another classic, Damage Case, I love this stabbing of these riffs, very punky sounding, but still got it's still heavy metal. Brilliant track. Tear you down. More driving bass. And then we get the brilliant 
Metropolis, Metropolis. It contains one of my favourite um, solos from Eddie Clark. Great track. Love this live as well. Limb from limb. More solid. More solid track from uh, Motive. Well, this was a great second album. 20 times better than their um, debut. More heavy. This is what we was expect. And this is how Motorhead mapped out. It's this one is brilliant. It's per it isn't perfect, but it's almost. And I give it an RTO ranking of nine point nine. Okay, coming in at number one then. There's a re many reasons this is my number one. It's a bit more. This is quite personal. This is why it's number one. Obviously, it, it's the fourth album released in November 1980, the brilliant Ace of Spades. This is my number one for one reason only. This is the very first heavy metal album I bought. I saved up my money. It took me a long time. I didn't get it in November 1980. I got the single Ace of Spades, but it took me a long time to get this. I had it on cassette, and I lost it moving in a way when you get older but uh, this is the reason I like heavy metal so the first track obviously is Ace of Spades this is the track that um, changed my life uh, I love this song you can play it three million times and I still don't get bored with it Love Me Like a Reptile. I love this track. Just another classic track from this album. I love the riffing and the drumming in this. It's superb. Shoot You in the Back. Love Eddie Clark's riffing in this. Phil Trailer's drumming is just mind blowing. Great track. Uh, Live to Win. I love the interplay between Eddie Clark and. Um, let me on this. Eddie Solo is just out of this world. Fantastic. Fast and Loose. Next to Ace of Spades. This is my favourite track on the album. Driving bass line. Solid drum. Just can't get any better. Let me get the brilliant We Are The Road Crew. Classic. Dedicated to all roadies. And if it weren't for them, we would never get some of these shows. Fantastic track. Fire, fire. Fast, furious. Heavy motorhead track. Brilliant. Jayabay. Solid track. Nice riff. Okay, the lyrics are a bit iffy. But forget the lyrics. The music is so fantastic. Dance. Another great track. Solid drumming from Phil. Brilliant. Bite the Bullet, another classic song as far as I'm concerned. Short, sharp rocker. Just love the driving bass line. The chase is better than the catch. One of the deep cut tracks off the album, and I love it. Love the riff, love the drum beat. Gets, you, gets your feet going. Um, Lemmy is just awesome on this, brilliant. The Hammer. This is another reason I love this band. It's a cracking track. It's a track full of energy. So there's a lot of you wondering why I rank this over Overkill. As you know, it's the first heavy metal album I ever brought. Uh, secondly, I think it's better produced. Better produced than Overkill without a doubt and thirdly I think this is when Motorhead were, were at the peak um, they were very solid for, through the rest of their career but this is when I was at the peak I love Overkill but to me this album is a diamond um, got very fond memories of this so there's only one ranking I can give this 
and that's 10 out of 10 because it's in my it's just been there for me since 1980 and if it weren't for this band I wouldn't be listening to some of the stuff I listen to today well that was a long one and an enjoyable one you know when you do one of your favorite bands even though I didn't wasn't going to do this and I just got pounded by my other cohort of Motorhead um, so um, it's been a pleasure doing this one well as you know this is the only show we do on a Wednesday uh, so we'll be back tomorrow uh, doing uh, it's then and now tomorrow isn't it and we got another bit of speed metal heavy metal we're doing um, Halloween then and now um, remember I did review the new Halloween album when it came out um, I thought it was okay uh, I've listened to it more now and you'll find out what I really what I think tomorrow and tomorrow's album cover fun show is I found when I was doing them 20 other stinkers which were hilarious I did find 20 other great album covers from different genres so I'll be looking at them so until tomorrow have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow take care for now